I have in the studio <coughs> Natasha A. Harrison, co-founder, co-chair of the 12th Annual Community Investment Network and founder of For Her, a black women giving movement for black girls. Natasha, how are you? How are you? Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. Get a little closer to that microphone sure, for sure. us. Sure, All right, so let's get right into it. This is a special month. Yes. Tell us about this month. This month is Black Philanthropy Month, in yep. which we celebrate um, black people's culture of giving mm -hmm. um, in the month of August, each month. And it was founded um, by three black women who um, represent the Pan-African Women's Philanthropy Network. While I'm not a representative of that organization, um, I am a philanthropist. You know, it's amazing that we have this month. I did not know about it until mm -hmm. I received it, mm -hmm. received the email. Mm -hmm. But we really do have this culture. Yes, we do. Even in our traditions, our fraternal traditions, it is steeped in giving, in charitable services. And so to have a month that honors that in the black community is very fitting. What made you get involved? Well, I grew up in Atlanta. I grew up extremely poor. Um, but I was... Um, you look like you're doing pretty good now. I do, yes, I am. You're looking real <laughs> prosperous. Thank you. Thank you. And it's really from blessings from my own community mm -hmm. that I am, you know, where I am. Um, and so um, part of it also is the realization um, that through my own research that 25% um, black donors give 25% more than white people. Wow. And we give to a tune of 11 billion each year. Two thirds of black households. And so give we're giving away billion. more of our capital. Yes. Than we actually have. Then, wow. That's than amazing. we actually have. That what greater than what we bring home, mm -hmm. and greater than our wealth. And we're doing that, and we're doing it for causes, um, and for organizations that we care about that are investing in our community. So it's, this is beyond the black church. And that shows you the mm -hmm. remarkable heart uh, that we have, and, and we know it. Yes. We know it. Yes. And I'm from what people would call the hood, but I, I tell you, when I was young, and I had issues, I could always depend on somebody mm -hmm. to say, but come on in here. Or you can go ahead and let me give you this meal because I don't think you wait today. Right. You know, I remember that. And, and even though they didn't have much either, mm -hmm. that heart was still huge. Right. Yeah. Right. And I mean, we, 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 again, we have that culture, we have that history of giving. Um, and even, you know, the work that I'm involved with, um, Community Investment Network, which is a um, network of 26 people of color giving circles across the country um, and 13 emerging circles. And, yeah. you know, we're having a conference. Um, in Atlanta September 30th to October 2nd to really help people get activated to learn about how to create collective giving in their own community to invest in issues that they care about uh, but then also to learn more about the issues and how they can actually um, be activated and you know and actually give them money um, properly. I'm loving it. Okay so tell us about uh, the organization for her. Yes, for her. I actually launched it on June 23rd. Um, about 15 years ago, I worked at a residential home for girls. Um, and as some of your viewers know, the issue of sex trafficking and exploitation uh -huh. um, in Atlanta is very pervasive um, and it's affecting everyone, um, even in suburbia and rural areas, not just in urban settings. And so um, I launched for her. Um, as an advocate um, organization um, to support black girls that are experiencing sexual exploitation and trafficking and really want to show that black women care about you, that we know we love you um, and that we care about you. And it's a way f collectively for black women to give their money, their time, talent, treasure, and testimony to support this effort. If individuals would like to get involved how can they do so? Also, how can they make contributions? Sure. So first, um, if they're thinking about getting into collective giving, I encourage them to check out Community Investment Network, which is www.thecommunityinvestmentnetwork.org, um, and register for the conference that's coming up September 30th through October 2nd here in Atlanta. Um, the second way to get involved with For Her, um, you can reach me. You can go on our website, www.supportforher.org. F O R her dot org, um, or send me an email, Natasha at support for her dot org. Natasha at support for her dot org, and the website again is www dot 
the invest the community investment network dot org. All right, sister, thank you. Thank you for all you do. All right, we're gonna stay on top of this. I mean, we got a whole it's a whole month. Mm -hmm. It's an entire month of this. Wish I would have knew about it earlier, but you know we know about it now. We got a few days left. Four zero four eight nine two two seven zero three. You're still getting real with the realest man in talk radio news and talk. Thirteen eighty W A O K.